Hello and welcome to another New Game Plus Mac uh, and today I'll be playing Hades uh, which is a game I didn't love at first when I played on the Nintendo Switch but um, I bought it again on Steam after seeing just nothing but unanimous praise for it and uh, I kind of grew to like it a lot more. Now I've not put that much time into it, you'll see from my, my main save game here. Um, only 11 escape attempts. I've, I've read a lot of people sort of usually get about 20-25 before they actually finish the game for the first time. But enough warbling on, we'll jump into an empty save slot and we'll start a new game of Hades. Because this game is really cool. New tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. The, the nature of starting this game from scratch is that um, we won't have... I mean, it's a very unlock-based game. Like, the runs themselves are quite short, and the game itself is quite short. But by doing continuous runs, you gain new abilities. So because, you know, I'm starting the game from a fresh save file here, essentially you won't see a lot of what Hades has to offer, but you will see, like, the very beginning stages. And uh, I just think that the design of it, the... Um, the combat, the fast pace of it, the small combat arenas, the, the look of the world, the voice acting and the presentation and dialogue are exceptional. And yeah, this is just a brilliant little game. I think it was only £13 in the latest Steam sale. Uh, and I would say well worth that. Even buying it twice, I had a great time. So the whole idea here is like it's little combat arenas essentially. You'll see I've got basic moves to start with. The potency of the moves and the options I'll have will increase the more runs you do. So you won't see too many. I'll probably only have time for one or maybe two runs in this in this little sort of new game plus. But um, you will see the sort of the starting kind of idea, Hades. I'll, I'll do you know a run or two just to show you some of the early options that you're given. So you'll see from the start here, it's, it's similar to like maybe I like Diablo. Maybe a bit more action focused, I suppose, but yeah, the basic idea, you're in a combat arena and these enemies will spawn in, you can dodge, you can do a sort of simple slash here, uh, you can do a special attack, which with this sword here slams into the ground, damages stuff, knocks enemies away, and you also have a cast move, which lets you basically fire off a little uh, beam there. Like everything else, these can get upgraded as the game goes on. But um, we'll start by uh, getting what's called a boon in the game, and it's essentially an upgrade that you will have just for the duration of this run, and they're provided by various gods. Now, uh, this is... is this Persephone or Athena? I can't remember, but we'll speak to this god here. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble person. Ah. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. So, you meet these gods and they'll give you these boons. Boon of Athena, you'll see at the top here. And these basically give you usually three options that you can choose from, which will manipulate how you play the game. So, you'll see the three options I've got here. Either my attack becomes 40% stronger and can deflect projectiles. My cast, the little red thing I shot there, that will do extra damage and also be able to deflect projectiles. Or I can dash and uh, reflect projectiles. Common theme that you'll see amongst gods here, like... Uh, there's a god of speed, forgive me, I can't remember his name. He'll he'll always affect your caster special or your normal attack, how fast they do. There's a sort of there's a there's a structure to it. Now, I kinda like just upgrading the default attack normally and having deflect's always a good thing because you know you can knock away the little purple projectiles that'll get thrown at you. So we'll take the divine strike. I know you can't hear me all the way where you are, goddess, but thank you. I love the voice acting and the characterization and just just the look of the characters, the art, the game. It's just an incredible looking game. Um, which most super giant the developers games tend to have. Now you'll see um, uh, I have this option here to proceed. Sometimes when you you finish a combat arena you'll get multiple uh, exits you can choose from. In this case I only have one here and uh, there's a special gem called Darkness which eventually will make us stronger as runs progress. Won't really do much for us picking it up now but that's the only option we have. And we'll enter the next combat arena. I should show off the cast and the special just a bit since I didn't really use them yet. I missed with the cast there. But if you don't miss, you can reclaim it. If it doesn't kill an enemy, you have to kill it to get it back. And I believe if it kills the enemy, you can just straight up get it back. Um, 
right away. So, uh, hopefully I'll be able to show off the ability to deflect once I get shot at by those purple um, beams. So I'll pick up the darkness that was shown on the door that I entered into the arena here. Now, you'll see I've got two options here. We've got the exclamation mark, which I believe... I think that's... Is that gold, possibly? Uh, or we can go for a centaur heart, which will increase our uh, health points by 25. So, for the purposes of, of you know, doing a, a new game run, that's, that's probably a great thing to have. It's... It's... Not complex the combat. I mean, you do have these three attacks, but for the most part, you are only using your standard attack. But it feels satisfying. The dash move that you can do, and avoiding you know the enemies when they flash or the environmental hazards like that explosion on the ground there, it just feels good. It just feels very satisfying to dodge out the way of an enemy's attack and then to you know hammer them into the terrain to to get extra damage. So uh, I'll gain a centaur heart here, which you know boosts my health by. 50% which is a fantastic one. You'll see these uh, purple objects, pink objects on the ground there. If I hit them they cause an explosion after a second or two which uh, always helps contribute. This looks like a darkness room which again won't do too much for this on this run. Well nothing on this run at all. Uh, if I do a second run here you will see um, what upgrades I can get from the darkness. That enemy there had a yellow health bar to start with. That means he was armoured. And, uh, well, so are those guys here. And they will take less damage unless you have a boon that does uh, more damage against armor or some other kind of upgrade that works in the same way. But, um, because there's just the two of them, that won't be too much of an issue. And I'll claim my extra darkness. You'll see down in the bottom right there. Yeah, the uh, yellow circle with the exclamation mark is your gold. And then the pink teardrop is your, or purple teardrop is your... Darkness. This is a pomegranate. This will allow me to upgrade a boon I already have. So we should see what happens there once I clear out this room. Again, a lot of armoured uh, enemies. I am hitting them uh, in the back because eventually you will get upgrades that automatically give you bonus damage. So I'm just kind of used to it from, uh, from playing for a couple of hours already. A lot of armoured uh, armor enemies in this, this initial area. There you go, I got hit for the first time didn't dodge properly and then I go straight into a trap and take damage from there. Deflected that attack and I will see this palm of power which should let me upgrade the single boon I already have. There you go, the percentage will go up. Only a modest 16% boost but having your basic attack damage boosted can only be a great thing. Uh, there is nothing else of sorts in this room worth looking at other than the pretty environment so uh, we will just move on uh, to this room where the reward will be, uh, I think it's Clothian Key. I could be getting that first word wrong, but I'll speak more about that once this room gets cleared out. I want to stay out the middle of the room in this case because there's a trap there. You can do damage to the enemies by knocking them onto traps. Excuse the loud siren that's going off uh, outside my window just now. So you'll see I can, because I can, uh, I got that boon from Athena, I can deflect these uh, these projectiles. If I didn't have that, I would only be able to dodge them. A Chthonic key, right. Uh, essentially, Chthonic keys let you unlock more weapons to start with, but uh, I'm just getting to a point in the, the standard game where uh, I've got all the, the normal weapons that you can see unlocked, and then suddenly keys become useful for other things. Uh, I think this is a chance for a boon, which would be good. You want to start getting a couple to sort of stack the power. More armoured enemies uh, that are causing huge amounts of explosions, so this could be a problem. Took a bit of damage there. Kind of taking more damage than I would like. We will get a chance to heal up um, using gold at Charon or Charon's shop. Charon the Boatman, I think. I'll have to see if we get to that character. And I will most likely be using any gold I have to buy some health. So, as you can see, these armoured enemies, they take a bit of a beating till their armour wears down. Probably not making enough use of the special and the cast buttons, but it should be okay for the first run or two. 
And I believe this is another boon. Excuse me while I take a sip of juice. Yeah, this is an another Athena upgrade, so... Seven percent resistance from damage. After you take damage, uh, foes around you are damaged and reflected, or your cast can. Uh, well, take the cast upgrade, and that'll kind of maybe remind me and encourage me to use that a bit more. You can push the select button here, and it'll bring up the boons you have, so you can see uh, see your options and see if they've been upgraded. As you can see, I've got Divine Strike level two there. Another chance to get some more darkness. Again, not that useful this run, but we should at least be able to use it for run two. Uh, oh, there's traps in the middle of here. I don't really want to be here. So yeah, in my cast, you can see it does a little bit more damage there. I want to use my area of effect on these skulls to clear them out as quickly as possible. And some more darkness for the pool. Uh, now, I believe I could actually have the option on to show me the timer, which I do quite like. Uh, generally, especially from a new game of this, uh, I think the brick wall initially will be the first main boss, uh, Meg, but uh, we should get to her really without too much worry. So when the time comes, we'll see if I can beat her. Very unlikely from a, a fresh save, but we'll give it a go. So, yeah, you just want to really stay out of these guys' way, try and get behind them, although I don't have the bonus that I would get from playing a later run. And really, they're not too much of a bother. There's no penalty to dodging, it's not like a bayonet or something where, you know, you spam it too much and then it becomes ineffective, like, you can't just dodge all over the place. And we'll get another chance for a boon here. We only are getting Athena boons here, which is quite unusual. You'd think some of the other gods, you might get, you know, Persephone or Zeus or Mars involved, but no, uh, so far we're just having these. Your abilities that can deflate also make foes exposed. For five seconds to take more. Oh, so we're essentially... Um, I think we'll take that. That sounds quite good. At least we'll give us a... A reason for the backstabs just now. Now, uh, that is either Mars's boon or the shop. I'm going to go to the shop with the hope that I can buy some health. Here the river. Shop. And here we will meet Charon, the Stygian boatman who can't speak. Um, oh, good to see you, Charon, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and hey, what's that you got? Some sort of wares for sale? Now, going to the shop's quite useful because you'll always get an option of, of uh, items that you can buy. We'll get a little bit of dialogue here. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have enough gold to do everything I would like here. Um, we've got a choice between healing up 30 health, which would take us to just about full health, one under, uh, or getting a centaur heart, heart, centaur heart, sorry, which would get me another 25 HP, but I don't think that would heal you as well. Just want to take a second here to look at the, the gorgeous, look at this river of blood here with the hands coming out. The design's amazing on this. Um... I think probably the sensible option is to take the healing. Would have been lovely to have had enough gold there to cover for the uh, the centre heart, but it's not to be. Um, I believe there's certain boons you get at some point which will allow you to take extra gold by breaking the terrain, but I've not come across that so far. Now, I think... No, I thought this was the, the first boss fight, but not yet. Now, that cast there did a huge amount of damage hitting the uh, the groups in the middle, and that's that's kind of what you're looking for with Hades. You're always just looking for these massive chains where you, you, you hit the the spell or whatever at the right moment and clear out a bunch of, uh, of monsters. Um, you do get a codex. You don't uh, start the game with it, but after a few runs, one of the characters will give you a codex, which will allow you to, you know, gather information about 
um, enemies, the more you kill them. Other characters, the more you talk to them. So there's a real sense of, of progression from like run to run to run. Uh, we actually come into Charon's shop for a second time. Uh, even if we had had... Uh, oh no, we're too short. Look at that. Too short. We'll get another little bit of dialogue here. But, uh, yeah, uh, that would have been really useful, but just not to be. So, I believe, I think usually the shop is right before the boss fight. I think. So this should be the boss fight with Meg, in which case I will probably get roundly destroyed. Uh, yeah, this is her. I don't fancy my chances here. Uh, it took me about five or six runs to be able to have enough to beat her. Uh, I presume it is possible. It's just going to require a lot of dodging. Yeah, there's a hit there. That wasn't clever. When she does that spinny thing, you want to get out of the way, and then she kind of charges right at you. Well, I'm chipping the damage up off, off her more than I thought, but uh, yeah, very useful having deflect at this point. As soon as she spins, you want to get out of the road. I think I'm going to die quite soon. Got her under half health though, I did not see that coming. Stay away, she's doing a... No, I think this is the one where she starts shooting... ...little uh, pink rings on the floor that you have to avoid. I'm honestly... Oh, no, well, spoke too soon. <laughs> One HP, okay, well. I was going to say I was uh, quite pleased with how I was doing there. Normally I don't get anywhere near that far on the first run, but... Um, yeah, getting that centaur heart might have made all the difference there, but... We'll have our first death to Meg, as is probably how things are meant to be. And it'll give us a chance to see what happens when you respawn. Uh, it is a roguelike structure to Hades, so when you die, you go back to the start and you lose certain things. Your boons, for example, but you will gain uh, progressive upgrades, which we'll see here. First, we're going to talk to Hypnos, though, who is, I believe, voiced by Greg Kasavin, one of the uh, the main designers and writers of the game. Um, he used to work at GameSpot before he moved to Supergiant Games. I think he founded the studio, actually, and he's voicing this character here. Then we will meet uh, our father, Hades. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how was your wanton ransacking of my domain? Each time you die, you sort of come back to the central hub, the house of Hades, and there'll be new dialogue options, uh, possibly the chances to unlock new areas. I don't think we'll see too much of that this first run here. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Zagreus. Such a cool sounding name. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go. See for yourself. I think part of the reason that I didn't quite click with it on the Switch like I did on PC is just the Switch didn't really carry across how detailed the graphics are. 
And while it is a great playing game, like, just the design of these characters, look at Cerberus here. Uh, it's difficult to walk past Cerberus without petting him, so I kind of tend to do it every run. So you do sort of grasp the plot over and over as, as you do more runs and, and get more out of these characters. It's it's just a, a quite cool way for for the game to be designed, and as a roguelike, it works quite well. And we'll talk to Nyx here. Dripping in, in just oh the dialogue it's it's so it feels so right. Hey, so this is Zagreus's room. Um, the bed chambers of Prince Zagreus. Zagreus, I should say. State of utter disarray, despite his lord and master of the house repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. And this is where kind of you get the chance to get uh, spend that darkness that I was speaking about earlier. And we have forty darkness, which is actually. I think the very, very first one I did on my own save, I probably had like 10. It just it, it varies what you'll get and where you'll get it. So we'll actually have the chance to restore... Uh, we'll take Death Defiance, so restore half your life instead of dying when your life is depleted, once per rank. And then we'll take uh, one in Shadow Presence, which will give us 10% extra damage when we hit enemies from the back. So that'll be uh, a good kind of start to... Uh, see the next run or the second run however way you want to put it uh, but first we will meet uh, now I'll uh, I'll have to confess I can't remember his name but the skeleton who guards the weapons that you can choose from okay. oh no we have to choose a weapon first so uh, I have one key so I can unlock this bow there we go. Koronok, the heart Koronok the heart seeker and now we'll get a chance to speak to what's his name Skelly So, uh, because I picked up the bow here, it'll give me the controls for the bow. So, you know, I can do my special where I fire in a row like that. I can charge it up. If I shoot it at just the right time, it does extra damage. Um, but I, so far, have not really experimented with the other weapons. I've just really used the uh, Stygius, Stygian Blade. Um, so, you know, I've got the strike, the Nova Smash, and a dash strike. There's not a lot to it. But uh, I feel it's a good weapon to get your hands on, uh, or to get the hands on the game. Uh, here you'll see keepsakes. These are various little bonuses I can get. For example, you might get an extra starting 100 gold uh, for every run. You might get, uh, I can't even think what other ones I've seen. Um, but essentially you get uh, an item called, I think it's honey? No, nectar, sorry. By giving nectar to various characters, you'll get various keepsakes, which will help you in runs, and you'll get the chance to level them. So, we'll finish off Skelly here. I think he just immediately respawns, though. Does he? No? Oh, yeah. Just uh, exists in perpetuity there. So, he's pretty cool. Nice little character. Uh, and then we'll start the next run proper. So you always get a boon here to start you off. This will be Zeus's. Is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he's not so much as called in quite some time. You'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. Right, uh, what will we take from Zeus? Um, I really don't upgrade the special too much, so we'll we'll do that just for a change to see how that works out. 
there's no like limit on your special. You can just kind of keep spamming it. There's no kind of meter or anything, but it, it doesn't seem overly useful. But like I say, I've not upgraded it that much with boons to see. yet so ideally for the sake of showing off this game we would want like upgrades that really benefit us in the short term things like centaur hearts um upgrades to our attack things like darkness and keys not the most useful for us right now but it's better than nothing and uh, at least getting that key well i was able to show off the bow um, there's a bow, there's the sword, there's I think there's a knuckle duster of some kind, or a cestus, whatever it would be called. Uh, there's a spear. I haven't played around with the other weapons too much. Uh, the Stygian blade that I'm using for the most part is, is it feels satisfying, it feels good, it feels powerful, and uh, lets you do this dodge strike, which just really, really makes you feel like you're, you know, hitting the best of both, damaging the enemy and getting out of the way. Oh, took silly damage really there, but... Oh, now we will meet the... This is the god of whiny? Hey Dionysus. Now, he'll give me abilities which can cause a special... Um, effect called hangover which essentially i think is just poison uh, so i can either my castle of the large explosive that bursts into festive fog which stuns you can gain health whenever you pick up nectar uh, or you can health is lost or encounters restored to the threshold uh, these are interesting choices um These are really interesting choices. I'll take the cast. Rather than taking the passive ones, since this is probably the last one I'll do for the sake of this video, I will, uh... I'll take the more sort of encouraging the special and, and cast abilities ones. Well, that's pretty cool. Seems to do a lot of damage as well. I think. I'm not sure what sets off that uh, that trap. I think it's just. Yep. All right. So you can you could use it against the enemy. Took more damage than I would like there. But uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to heal up at a shop before I fight Meg. Uh, if not, I do have that one sort of extra life when I die, so that should come in very handy. And. Uh, chance for another boon here but it really is quite interesting how the uh, various boons and upgrades you can get can sort of change the properties of your uh, of your attacks like you can see that I've got the, the cast upgrade now is like this little lobbed kind of grenade instead of like a, a, a straight shot thing uh, similarly you can get an upgrade to your attack that causes it to be like an overhand smash that does more damage but We will take on Artemis. I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Any damage you chill has a chance to be critical. Your dash strike deals more damage, or your attack is stronger with 50. I do like to dash strike. The power of the hunt sounds like good company to keep. And then we'll go visit. Is that the shop? I don't think we've actually got enough gold to make this worth well. No, we don't. If it had at least 50, that would have been worth it. But as it is, no. We will get another option for a, a conversation with Caron. But uh, he doesn't really say anything. He just kind of makes vague groaning noises. Really unfortunate I didn't have that two extra gold. That would have healed me up good and proper. But we'll just push on. I do think we'll get another chance to meet uh, Caron. I just wasn't thinking there. I shouldn't have went in the shop with only 48 gold. So 
and we'll see these armored guys again do massive damage with their explosives I might actually burn my first life before I get to the boss which is not good trying to backstab them in the back for as much damage as possible oh and then I get killed there right at the end and only have half my health left well at least we get a bin out of it Aphrodite. I have to say you're quite the specimen, and so I've decided I shall aid you for the moment. You interested? Your attack deals more damage and inflicts weak. Any health chamber awards are worth more or thirteen percent reduced damage. I think we need to take the heartbreak strike here. At least we'll get a chance for uh, more health here. Got to keep going. Which can only be a good thing. Careful not to go in the spike trap there. Can't deflect like I could in the first run because I don't have the boons for it. So I should be really doing a better job of it. Oh, I just realised I can kind of aim that cast. A little bit more than I thought I could. Well, we'll get a little bit more health. That's uh, that's something, and we should at least go to Karen's shop before we fight the boss here. So we at least should be able to buy the French fries for more health. Oh no, this is this guy. I like this guy. Sisters, let them know I was headed down the way I came from, will you? Oh, I'll let them know, all right. I hear you loud and clear, Your Highness. I'll just go about my business now and you take care. Now, he'll give me a chance to upgrade one of three things. Uh, either a bunch of gold, healing, or more darkness. Obviously, we don't want the darkness in this situation since, you know, this is the end as far as uh, the recording is going to be going. So, uh, probably worth it to take the gold. And then we'll at least be able to heal up in the shop and then maybe have enough for a boon as well. Uh, if there's something that's 125 gold. Yeah. We can only hope. That new cast seems really effective. So, not doing the best job at this point. It would have been lovely to keep my uh, death defiled bonus for going into the boss fight. Didn't, uh, didn't happen. Uh, we can either upgrade my cast more, my dash strike more, or my special. Hmm. Let's just go for the cast. I don't think it'll be as good uh, against the boss, but... I like the idea of like, trying a run where you, you focus on upgrading the cast or the special. That's not great. Took a massive amount of damage that I didn't really want to there. We'll have two options at the end of this room, so I believe that means the boss is not next. Well, I might actually die before I get to the boss at this rate. Take that key, that's essentially useless. Uh, excuse me just for two seconds, folks. Thank you. Uh, right, um, we'll have two options here. We can either pick up more darkness or some gemstones. For the sake of mixing it up, I'll get the gemstones, which effectively allow you to do cosmetic upgrades to the House of Hades. But I don't think we'll be seeing much more of that. These guys are pretty easy to take down once they're in the fog, to be fair. But, 
Might be a good thing or a bad thing here, but we're maybe not even going to get to the, uh, the boss fight. Which is kind of disappointing. But maybe I should have managed my health better. We'll take it there, the gemstones. Hopefully I at least get to Meg and that way, you know, I can die with honour knowing I did it okay the first time round. Uh, chance for more health or Karen's shop. We actually have quite a lot of gold. And we'll undoubtedly get a chance to heal in the shop, but we also may be able to get something extra as well. No chance for a conversation with him here, so it doesn't happen every time. Uh, right, so we can we can take the food and then we could either upgrade a boon or take a new boon from Zeus. Do I already have a Zeus boon? I do. So, special causes of mm, I think we'll take the pomegranate. Should help keep me going. And we'll upgrade the cast even further. Doubt it's going to come in handy against Meg, but at least it's something. And then we'll see how we get on second time around. I don't think it's going to go too well. If I still had my extra life, my death defiance, maybe, but uh, hey there, unlikely now. Stubborn, aren't you? Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. Your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. Maybe persistence will pay off for both of us. Come then. So, to start with, you want to be very wary of a little uh, spinning move there, and then she will try and sort of dash at you. She won't get damaged if she goes on the trap there. Thought I'd stuck around just a little bit too long there. You really want to sort of hit her and get out again. Ah no, this is the horrible bit. Well, it does give you a chance to get some free hits on her. Yeah, we've picked up our cast there, so we'll chuck that out. See what I mean? If you can stay out the, the pink, you can actually get a decent bit of damage on her. Almost stuck around just a second too long there. He's going to spin. Oh no, he circles again. Now she's going to spin. That seems to be a real chance to get some damage on her. Oh no, heavy damage from me though. Not good. She's gonna dash there, get in a couple of hits and then get away. Oh no, walked right into a trap there, not paying attention. Too busy looking at her. Oh, this is going to the wire here. I've only got nine health left. Oh, she got me. Right at the death. Well, that was unfortunate, but, um... Yeah, when I first played this, I almost felt like, how do you, are you meant to beat this boss first time round? But you just kind of have to get used to landing a few hits, dodging away, dodging the circles. When she starts spinning around in a circle like that, get the hell away. So yeah, that was only a couple of runs, but uh, that's Hades, a, a, a really cool game, I love the design of it, love how it plays, love the upgrades, I mean I'm a big fan of roguelikes anyway, I love like Spelunky Isaac, whatever, but just the progression system of, oh I got a few more gems this run so I can unlock, you know, my next thing, I mean just for the sake of showing you what could be happening, I'll skip past all the dialogue here, although, you know, part of the joy and part of the whole point is, is speaking to these characters as you go through. But uh, as you'll see, I've got the four keys at the bottom there, so I would have the chance to, to upgrade another weapon or to have one of the other weapons. I should be able to upgrade for four keys, surely. Uh, so, at the very least. Yeah, so I could I could buy the shield or the spear. So, Varatha, the Eternal Spear. So, yeah, I've not really experimented with these, but I've seen other people say that 
they really love the bow or they really love the the spear in particular but so far i've only stuck to the sword uh, but i imagine i will uh sort of see what all the other weapons do as well there's another two to unlock that you can't even see yet uh, because this is just a little a fantastic little game so yeah that was a uh, that was what it's like to start a new game of Hades, and uh, I will recommend it if you like the look of this, or you know, like you know, Diablo, that kind of style of sort of top-down shooter, top-down shooter, top-down hack and slash. So uh, yeah, Hades, uh, check it out. And uh, until next time, uh, goodbye.